Hello, I'm Andrew, and I'm going to be taking you through how to install your CADvanced MDT resource. So the MDT resource is very much like any other 5M resource you might install. Um, you just download it and install it using one of several different methods. Um, and this can be installed in exactly the same way you would anything else. So the first thing you want to do is get over to our GitHub website. This is where you can download the MDT resource. Um, you can see it on the screen here and I'll put a link to it in the video description. So once you've downloaded the resource, um, install it in the same way you would any other. Um, and we've given some in examples here of various ways you can install it. Once it's installed, uh, the very first thing you need to do is look, find this file MDT config lua.sample and rename that. You basically want to remove the dot sample at the end there. So it becomes MDT config uh, lua. Once you've done that, you can then go into the config file itself and modify any of the config options that are there. I'll put a link in the video description to our getting started guide, which cover these covers these options um, and tells you what they all do. Um, but once you've got the uh, MDT resource installed on your 5M server, you can then start it. At this point, you then need to go into your CAD and uh, configure the resource from there. And so we'll go over into the CAD now and I'll show you how that's done. OK, so here we are over in the CAD. And what you need to do is head over to the admin preferences screen. And there's various options here, but the one we're interested in is the 5M integration. And so what you need to do is enter the IP address of your 5M server. I've blanked mine out here, but yours would just go in there. Um, and the port, which is commonly 30120, but if yours is different, obviously enter that. Once you've done that, uh, you click the initialize 5M server button. What that does is it checks that it can contact your 5M server uh, at the details you've given. If it can't, it will tell you and you maybe want to check what they what they should be. Um, if it can, then it will send various configuration options over to the 5M server. Uh, and that's basically it. At that point, all you need to do is restart the resource and then everything should be fine. So that's it. That's how you set up the 5M integration with CADvanced. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks very much for watching.